Have you ever wondered how secure your money is when using mobile banking? As banks encourage us to move our money to mobile banking apps and cashless formats for convenience and speed, so does the growing threat of cybercrime. Doubts over mobile security have, however, kept a sizable percentage of consumers from adopting mobile banking. Security concerns have also caused banks themselves to hesitate offering a full range of financial services through the mobile channel. Recently, the FBI warned of increased hacking risks if using mobile banking apps. Financial regulators like the U.S. Federal Reserve and the Payment Services Directive of the European Union warned that mobile banking may help to address some challenges consumers face. But the mobile banking channel needs to become more trustworthy. The question is, are banks doing enough to protect your money? And do mobile banking apps meet the mobile application security standards, like OWASP or PSD2? Recently, some cybersecurity companies decided to test the security of mobile banking apps, and it was not a surprise that you can easily lose your money if you use mobile banking. During this evaluation, 62 top world banks were considered, and each bank had a mobile banking application, both for Android and for iOS. Each of the banks in this evaluation had assets greater than $50 billion. iOS banking applications were found to do better than their Android counterparts. But don't be so happy yet as none of the tested apps have an acceptable level of security. Some of the risks found with these mobile banking applications are poor application coding. Mobile app developers do not always understand all the threats and most are not up to the task of securing mobile data, connections, and transactions. During the evaluation, it was found that 100% of mobile banking apps studied contain flaws in their code. The code of the applications is not obfuscated, meaning it is clearly viewable. This allows anyone to reverse engineer an app to identify weaknesses and identify an attack surface. This can allow cyber criminals to easily analyze the code of the application. They just have to download the application from Google Play or the App Store and then analyze it. This flaw allows attackers to find encryption keys, which can be used to get your password easily and steal your money. One example of such is how cyber criminals reverse engineered a Tesco Bank mobile app to identify vulnerabilities and stole millions of dollars overnight from thousands of users, all without being detected. Fake banking apps There are a lot of fake banking apps out there. Some of them have been downloaded more than 500,000 times. Just for example, search for HSBC in the Play Store and you will see a lot of these. Criminals can reproduce very professional and credible look-alike banking apps to mimic those offered by financial institutions. Studies have already shown that around 65,000 fake apps exist in app stores. Malicious mobile apps. Cyber actors target banking information using banking trojans, which are malicious programs that disguise themselves as other apps, such as games or tools. When the user launches a legitimate banking app, it triggers the previously downloaded trojan that has been lying dormant on their device. The Trojan creates a false version of the bank's login page and overlays it on top of the legitimate app. Once the user enters his or her credentials into the false login page, the Trojan passes the user to the real banking app login page so they do not realize they have been compromised. Deep linking. Deep linking is what allows us to navigate between or in applications, like hyperlinks in web pages. 
Cyber criminals use this flaw to steal your bank login details. A scammer can convince the victim to install a malicious app through social engineering or via phishing. Using this malicious application, they can use NFC to scan your cards or manipulate the ability to scan bank cards using the onboard camera. For you, everything seems normal like a regular banking transaction. What you don't know is that hackers are the ones receiving the data. In some cases, they can even steal your fingerprints or face biometrics to empty your bank accounts. Secure coding standards. Banks are failing to adhere to coding best practices, which result in exposing both customer and bank data. During the evaluation, it was found that 90% of the banking apps don't use secure coding and that their code can be easily hijacked by cyber criminals or malicious apps. 30% of the apps store user encryption keys in code which anybody with computer skills can see. In 60% of the apps, the logout function was not properly coded and can allow session hijacking. 80% of mobile banking apps allow automatic screenshot captures, and these can leak your card information and account balances. 90% of the applications allowed man-in-the-middle attacks due to flaws in SSL certificate validation. This allows attackers to access sensitive user data as well as read and tamper data transferred between the server and the client application. Application Data Storage Some banking apps show that they store data on user devices and do not delete it or encrypt it when finished. In some of the mobile banking applications evaluated, experts found card balance statements stored on the phone or even the user's PIN code saved. 43% of applications were found to store important data on the phone without encryption, creating serious flaws cyber criminals can exploit. Server-side flaws 60% of mobile banking have server-side flaws that hackers can exploit against users. For example, insufficient extension checking of uploaded files in mobile applications allows attackers to upload a file with viruses to the server. If a bank employee opens such a file, a virus could run and steal data from the server. Yes, we need to urge banks to do a better job on mobile application security design, development, and following security standards. These mobile banking application flaws can result in breach of sensitive financial and personal information. In most cases, these flaws could lead to fraud and loss of hard-earned money of account holders. These consequences have already happened to some banks, like Tesco Bank, one of the biggest British banks. Banks must recognize and respond to their customers' concerns and provide positive mobile banking experiences that balances data security and convenience. We need to understand that we, as users, play a vital role in keeping ourselves safe. If you don't have car insurance and you suffer a fraud due to these flaws, your bank will try to put the blame on you and you will lose the money. So till the banks fix these flaws in their mobile banking applications and secure these apps, it's recommended that if you use mobile banking, Always make sure you only have trusted apps in your phone. As in 87% of cases, user interaction is required for a flaw to be exploited. Make sure your phones have the latest updates, are not jailbroken or rooted. Don't you open any unknown links in your phone. And be more cyber conscious to start using common sense at its best. If you don't care about your money, why will the banks care?